so hello children so let us start so children we in the last video we have started the lesson that is a mad tea party okay so mad mad tea party it is a part of the fantasy novel alice in wonderland written by lewis carroll this novel is all about a little girl named who alice and her all her adventures in a fantasy world okay this particular part deals with the this particular part which we have seen okay i mean this chapter we can say this particular part deals with the tea party attended by her along with the three particular creatures you know their names the mad march hare mad hatter and the dormouse so children in the last class we have seen the uh, the there was lots of conversation going on okay between alice and this uh, two characters uh, that is march hare and the mad hatter okay so now, now let us move forward so before moving children i got this uh, uh, alice in wonderland quote okay what the quote is what what the quote says everything uh, everything's got a model everything everything got a model if only you can find it okay everything's uh, thing is um, everything's rather if you can apostrophe yes it is there everything's got a model if only we can find it okay it is up to you how you uh, take out the model from that thing okay okay so now we will move forward uh, open textbook children page number 90 we will continue with the chapter okay so so just conversation was going on uh, so we will move forward okay so between them so what alice cautiously replied cautiously means children carefully so what perhaps not alice cautiously replied to what to um, the what hatter said last uh, the last uh, uh, video we have seen what hatter said that i dare i dare say you never spoke to to you never even spoke to time to this what alice replied perhaps not so children perhaps it is used to express uncertainty or possibilities okay so alice said perhaps not so alice cautiously replied cautiously means carefully replied but i know i have to beat time when i learn music okay she said this ha ah, that counts for it said the hatter that counts for it no children that's count for it is it, uh, it is a uh, we can say uh, means to explain the uh, reason or cause of something that counts for it means it means that to, uh, it is used to uh, explain the reason or cause of something so a uh, a uh, Uh, that counts for it said the hatter he won't stand beating he won't stand beating now uh, if you only kept on good terms with him uh, he would do almost anything he would do almost anything you liked with the clock okay so this is said by i think hatter no? yes for instance for instance means uh, we can say for a particular situation Okay, we say now, for instance, for a particular situation, for 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 a ex particular example, suppose it were nine o'clock in the morning, just time to begin lessons. So, for instance, for a particular situation, he said, suppose it were nine o'clock in the morning, just time to begin lessons. You would only have to whisper a hint to time. You will have to whisper. Whisper means in a very uh, speak in a very soft way. okay uh, to keep so we we spur na to when we want to say share some secret with others that way okay so you would only have to whisper a hint to the time and round goes the clock in a twinkling round goes in a clock in a twinkling so in a twinkling means the very short time okay half past 1 time for dinner half past 1 is time for dinner so i only wish it was the march has said to itself in a whisper i only wish it was march has said to itself in a whisper that would be grand certainly said alice thoughtfully but then i shouldn't be hungry for it you know uh, not at first perhaps said the hatter not at first perhaps said the hatter but you could keep it to half past 1 as long as you liked a bright idea came into alice's head is that the reason so many tea things are put out here she asked okay so bright idea came into alice's head is that the reason so many tea things are put out here she asked 
for children here you can see alice sitting on a big a uh, big uh, sitting on uh, on an sorry on a big armchair okay big okay big so on a big armchair and you can see the dormouse march hare and mad hatter okay okay now we will move to last page of this lesson page number 91 so yes that is it okay that is it said the hatter with a sigh okay it is always tea time and we have no time to wash the things between whiles so hatter said that yes it is always tea time and we have no time to wash the things between whiles between whiles means children uh, it is a phrase here means between two occasions or between uh, means between two short periods okay between two occasions you can say okay between two occasions okay so then you keep moving round i suppose said alice exactly so said the hatter as the things get used up and the things get used up exactly so said the hatter as the things get used up but what happens when you come to the beginning again alice ventured to ask alice dared to ask alice ventured to ask means alice dared to alice dared to ask this question suppose we change the subject the march hair interrupted yawning to so, march hair suppose we change the subject the march hair interrupted means uh, he, uh, there was some hindrance interrupted means uh, showing some hindrance yawning he was yawning i am getting tired of this i vote the young lady tells us a story so he said that i am getting tired of all this i vote the young lady tells us a story i am afraid i don't know one said alice rather alarmed at the proposal so alice said that i am afraid i don't know one said alice rather alarmed alarmed means she was uh, scared at the proposal put what was the proposal to tell the story okay alarmed means she was scared or she got panic at the proposal of telling a story by her okay children then the door mouse shall they both cried who cried both cried uh, this march had um, uh, march her and mad hatter then the door mouse shall they both cried wake up door mouse and they pinched it on both sides at once okay so wake up door mouse they pinched pinched uh, door mouse on both sides uh, on both side at once the door mouse slowly opened his eyes door mouse was sleep the fast asleep was slowly opened his eyes i wasn't asleep he said in a hoarse feeble voice okay i wasn't a, uh, asleep he said in a hoarse hoarse me h o a r s e hoarse means children it is a rough unpleasant okay uh, feeble voice feeble means weak okay he was asleep na in a weak voice he said i wasn't asleep i heard every word you fellows were saying so he said that i wasn't asleep i heard every word you fellows were saying understood children so this is the this is a small part of the fantasy novel alice in wonderland so children so i hope you enjoyed this uh, fantasy novel okay fantasy novel uh, a part of the fantasy novel that is a matty party uh, of alice in wonderland okay so means uh, at last we can say that in the summary we can say that alice uh, falls into remember we just will just go through whatever we have seen okay children there is nothing uh, here that special here because there just a conversation going on between this uh, this fellows okay so uh, what the chapter says what this mad party uh, mad tea party says the alice fa- falls into a rabbit uh, rabbit hide and happens to attend a tea party with march hare mad hatter and the dormouse so alice makes herself comfortable on a large armchair okay at the corner of a large table okay uh, though all the three uh, tell her that there was no space to accommodate her after getting seated alice get into arguments we have seen the arguments between them it's a conversation in the form of arguments Uh, with them for various reasons due to their silly remarks and the whole the remarks we have seen actually you must have understood the remarks were silly remarks ultimately all of them get tired of their own talks and the march chair suggests that alice should tell them a 
story so at last by the silly remarks uh, they were tired and uh, they were fed up of their talks and the march chair what he suggested that alice should uh, tell them a story when alice uh, alice refuses uh, they suggest that the dormouse who was sleeping should tell remember this all this happened yes the dormouse opening his eyes tells that he wasn't asleep all the while but he was listening to every word th- that they all were saying okay children so this is the thing we have seen in this chapter it is the part of the fantasy novel alice in wonderland by lewis carroll a matty party okay just a, a conversation in the form of arguments okay for various reasons and uh, this is this all we have seen this chapter there is nothing else to uh, tell in this nothing else to say in this in this part of the uh, this fantasy novel okay children so just go through the lesson go through the conversations made by them just read go on reading okay uh, okay so now we will in the next video we will see the there is a small exercise given that we will go through okay just go on reading children reading is very important okay enjoy reading Okay so we'll stop here take care bye